Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you love college football as much as I do. This is my first prediction video for the Week 9 season. Um, it's uh, Florida versus Georgia. Let's talk about Florida and Georgia. Let's talk about Florida first. Florida has uh, has been pretty good this year offensively, actually. Uh, the only problem is that... Uh, let's talk about their production first where I talk about what's wrong with them. For both teams. They have... Passed for 327 yards a game. That's pretty good. Graham Merch, shout out to him, man. Hey, and I said on his channel, I think he's hot garbage. This year, he's not. He's been throwing the football pretty good. And they'd run the ball for 165 yards a game. That's pretty decent. Pretty decent. Uh, considering they have a younger offensive line than what they had last year. Now, obviously, the running game isn't like it was last year. But the fact that they can still run the ball pretty effectively like that per game, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um... Now, they have scored 34 points a game. Defensively, they have only they've given up 23 points a game. That's not bad either. That's pretty good. Uh, much better than last year, especially defensively. They have forced four turnovers defensively. Now, here's the problem with their offense. They've had six turnovers in six games. So, that's like having a turnover every game. And they like to go for it on fourth down a lot because third down, offensively, they're not very good. Um... Fourth down, they go for it a lot. They don't get it most of the time. That's not good. Um, that tells me that that team is aggressive. Nate Pierre is very aggressive on fourth down. He's probably going to go for it a lot on fourth down in this game if he thinks he can get it. I'd advise him to punt that football <coughs> and or take the field goal if he can. Um, he's probably not going to do that. Now let's talk about Georgia. Their problem, the only problem I see with Georgia here is that they have had eight turnovers offensively. That's way too many. They're probably going to have a few in this game too. But their defense has forced nine turnovers. They're probably going to force turnovers too. Um, they're a great third down team offensively. They don't go for it a whole lot on fourth down. But when they do, they, they I think they do pretty well there. I don't know. I didn't look at their fourth down stats. But third down offensively, they get it much more than half of the time. They are really good. They have thrown the football for 393 yards a game. That's like 400 yards a game. And they've run the ball for about 200 yards a game. That's really, really, really good. Really good offense right there. That's scary. Um, their offense last year was pretty darn good. This one, this one's probably better. Check this. They score 47 points a game. Defensively, they only give up 16 points a game. Outside of that Auburn game, let's be honest about the Auburn game. As an Auburn fan, I will admit, Auburn, it's hard for anybody to play Auburn over there at Jordan Hare. Ole Miss had a hard time. Georgia had a hard time. Alabama is probably going to have a hard time too, okay? Uh, Auburn is a better team than what they were last year. And outside of those few quarterback keepers, Auburn would not have had 200 and, what was it, 200 and some, uh, 219 yards against Georgia's defense. Outside of that, Georgia has not given up much of anything on the ground. Let's look at that South Carolina game. South Carolina had 152 yards rushing against Florida. Kentucky had 200, almost 300 yards rushing against Florida. Georgia? They only had 53 yards. That's what South Carolina had. Georgia had about, I mean, Kentucky had about 50. I think Georgia is going to destroy Florida again this year. Here's the problem. Uh, Kentucky, I mean, excuse me, Florida turns the ball over too much. They're not good third down offensively. And they go for a lot on fourth down and they don't get it. That's alarming. To me, that's alarming. And I think that will be the difference in this game. Uh... Georgia always shows up in big games like they're supposed to outside of the Ohio State game where they had the turnovers, and they still won that game. They showed up against TCU. They showed up against Florida last year, and they've showed up in other big games with Kirby Smart. So as far as my prediction goes, this game will probably get away from Florida late third, early fourth quarter. This should be a good game. Here's the thing. Both teams turn the ball over a lot, so I don't think that'll help Georgia any more than what it would Florida or vice versa. But I do think that'll keep Florida in this game, you know, because, again, Georgia's had eight turnovers. They're probably going to turn it over again in this game. I just think the difference will be converting third downs for Georgia and Florida's inability to do so. I think Kirby Smart being more conservative, but not conservative, but less aggressive by learning to punt the ball and take the field goal when he needs to, that will be the difference in this game instead of Florida. So, I, and, uh, unfortunately for Florida fans... I see too many no-nos. And Georgia, I see a lot of no-nos, but they also have a good defense that'll back them up in this game. I got Georgia winning 41. I got Florida getting beat 
41 to 17, something like that. I'm sorry, but the turnovers are, are alarming for me. Here's the thing. If Florida's defense was really good at forcing turnovers, it would be a lot different because in this case, you got both teams making turnovers, making dumb mistakes, right? But unfortunately, uh, Georgia's defense forces a lot of turnovers. Florida's does not. Florida's defense has been run through a lot. But here's the thing. South Carolina's not a running team. They put up 150-something yards on you. And, and look at this. Florida only ran for 71 yards on South Carolina's defense. Georgia's going to eat them alive. So, again, 41-17. Might be a little close to that. Might be a little uglier than that. But that's, I, I, that's pretty fair to me. Look, is Florida a better team than last year? Obviously, yes. Offensively, they're doing pretty good considering they got a younger offensive line. And Graham Mertz is doing really good. You know, but in Florida's defense, I still think it's better than last year's. I do think Florida's a better team than what they were last year. I think Napier's doing a pretty decent job. And again, I mean, anything's possible. Florida could come into this game and not turn the ball over at all. But it's unlikely because they've had turnovers. Six turnovers. It's like a turnover every game. Uh, and who do I think is more likely to show up and have the closest to a perfect game if, if an actual perfect game? Georgia. So... I, I, sorry, Florida. 